So you probably know what's going on. You probably know that the Intel Arc B580 is a beast of a GPU for budget gaming, but it's not that good of a GPU if you are going to upgrade your older system. You have to build a PC from scratch or watch this video. And here are the best CPUs that I feel are okay pairing it with the Intel Arc B580. So press on that like button and check out the links in the description if you're interested. And without wasting any further ado, let me explain and then let's get to the picks that we have. So basically, if you are not following up with the info, the latest stuff, the hardware unboxed and hardware Canucks have shown that actually the Intel Arc B580 doesn't perform as good as it should with the older gen CPUs. So basically there is an obvious bottlenecking that needs, I believe, some driver updates or Nvidia or Intel to address that problem. So first up, if you are building a PC from scratch, if you own like 700 to 800 dollars uh, budget, the Ryzen 5 9600X and the Ryzen 5 7500F and let me explain. Now the Ryzen 5 7500F is an AM5 6 core 12 threaded CPU for 120 dollars. This is by far one of the best CPUs that you can get for the value right now. It gets the job done for gaming gets the job done for video editing and it's comparable to something like a 5800 x3d but the catch is that it actually performs with this gpu faster than the ryzen 75700 x3d which is crazy but keep in mind that all the tests that has been done with the intel arc b580 were done using the cpu intensive games only cpu intensive so that means that you'll not find that big of a bottleneck with the gpu intensive games or usually all the casual games. But if you want a PC that would run the latest and greatest games and you want the latest CPU, you got the Ryzen 5 9600X. It's a slight upgrade over the Ryzen 7500F. It's not that big of an upgrade, but it gives you the uplift in the IPC and the clock rate and you know it's a newer architecture so it gets the job done but it's for more expensive it's like for 200 ish dollars right now the biggest elephant in the room is will the ryzen 5 5600 bottleneck uh, the intel arc b580 the short answer is no but the long answer yes but only in the cpu intensive games so as you can see from the benchmarks based on hardware unboxed you find that the ryzen 5 5600x is slower than the ryzen 7 9 800x 3d in games like warhammer and all the, of the other CPU intensive. That doesn't mean if you're playing Fortnite, if you're playing Valorant, if you're playing any of the FPS intensive games, that doesn't mean that you're not getting 240 FPS. You have to keep that in mind. But when you pair or when you compare the Ryzen 5 7500F to the Ryzen 5 5600X, the AM4 CPU, in the latest games like Cyberpunk, Black Myth, Wukong, or whatever, you'll find it having the same frame rates at 1080p or 1440p ultra set. Now, a CPU I would never pair this GPU with anything lower than the Ryzen 5 5600. So a Ryzen 5 3600, uh, 3700X, an i5 10th gen, I don't feel like this will be a really good pairing because you'll find bottlenecking there. So the three CPUs in my opinion that would make the job done or will get it done is the 50, uh, 5600X if you are on a budget, the 7500F if you want good value and a future proofing, and the 9600X if you want one of the latest and greatest uh, GPU, uh, CPUs in the market right now. So yeah, that's been it. If you like the video, press on that like button. If you want to see the video, that can subscribe and check out the links in the description. See you in the next one. Peace.